So what I'm doing here is just altering or airbrushing this photo of Alicia Keys. I'm going to split the photo into two different layers. One will be a blur um, using the brush tool to kind of blur out all of the imperfections, but not too much. I don't want this photo to look plasticky. I want it to look airbrushed and perf you know, perfect, but I don't want it to look fake. And um, <clears throat> you know, I go back and forth with that on the chin because I noticed that it was looking a little bit too fake. Now we're gonna blend two layers together, so it might look a little messy right now, but don't worry. When it's done, I promise it's good. So as I said, you go through two different layers. This one here is just the blur and uh, softening of all of the imperfections that you can see. But then we're going to split it into the textured layer, which you can really see all the imperfections in which I will stamp some skin textured um, uh, brushes, I guess, over the photo using the clone tool in Photoshop and I go through back and forth with different sizes and different textures because I want it again to look natural. I don't want it to look like this was done on Facetune or um, you know an automated app where you don't actually have to do anything but just it automatically does it for you. So I really want the real authentic skin texture so I'm taking some of the texture from the neck and um, applying it to the face. It really makes the pores look real and you know not so airbrushed still airbrushed but naturally looking airbrushed again just playing with the different sizes and textures again like I said there are two different layers so there's the edited version I don't really like how the eye turned out so I'm going to blur out a little bit underneath the eye just to make it look a little bit more natural. Again, also with the nose area connecting to the eye. And I'm going to add some noise and some um, texture to the actual photo to make it look more realistic. Then I'm going to reduce the redness in the eyes as well as change the iris color to a little bit lighter of an amber color. Alicia has very beautiful eyes. I just wanted to accentuate that um, and uh, make it more bright, I guess you could say. And I'm just adding a uh, blur to the eye, the iris itself, and reducing the opacity to not make it so strong. Here, I'm going to make a gradient of the darkest shade. A medium shade and the lightest shade of her skin tone just to make sure it's all even and then I'm going to group everything into different folders so it's easier for me to locate them if I want to edit them because each step is separated into its own category then what I'm going to do after I do that is just paste the original photo with the edited photo there's the gradient uh, for the skin tone, bringing the opacity down just a little bit. And then I'm going to bring the opacity down on the edited photo um, to kind of blend in with the original photo so it's not so airbrushed and still has some of the imperfections from the original photo. So as you can see, that is the finished product. <laughs> 